also today I'm going to be showing you how to tame something like this. I have a straightener that is virtually unheard of. It is called the Redken Steam Infusion Straightener. And from first glance, it may look just like any other straightener, but it also comes with this. And what this is is a reservoir that you put water in, and steam actually goes from the reservoir through these cord, through this cord, and it comes out in these holes, which actually makes your hair straighten a lot easier, less damage, and I mean, it's a great investment. It is pricey. I can't remember how much it was right off the bat. I've had it for a while. I don't use it every day. First of all, when I do use it, I don't have to use it every day because my hair stays straight for a good three, four days or until I wash it. And um, also, another product to use with that that the salon or the stylist at the salon recommended to me was the Redken Diamond Oil and they have two. I get the one that's for extremely dry hair. I think they have another one that's for um, not so dry hair. But as you can tell my hair is extremely dry. It is color treated to the max and it will be getting another color treatment this weekend. So I was on the hunt. I've went through cheese. There's cheese straighteners. It sounded like I said cheese, like yellow cheese. But anyways, I have had a Chi. I've had some other brand of straightener that was very expensive that I got from Ulta. And um, then I had some titanium blade straightener. That was the worst one I had ever bought because it completely dried my hair out. My hair was breaking worse than it already does. And when I found this straightener, or when I got to know about this straightener, it was literally a life changer. It, like I said, it makes your hair feel so silky smooth without essentially doing any damage to it whatsoever. So, um, the way that you use it is you use it by first spraying your hair. They want your hair to be 90% dry, so 10% wet. And so this is a water bottle. Like actually, it's not a water bottle. It's my water bottle. There's water in it. But my children have ran off with my actual water bottle. So I first go in and spray. Just to get my hair a little on the damp side. The sprayer's doing something bizarre. But it's still working. And I spray it until it's just what we call damp. Just a little bit. I don't drench it. What the heck? Okay. Obviously, something's wrong with the pump in this. Of course that would happen. I have a water bottle, like I said, that I see like every day, but the day that I need it, I can't find it anywhere. There we go. Okay. It's doing better now. So I'm still going in, being sure to get in the middle of my hair, not just the front and the back and the sides, but just try to get your whole hair down. And right about here, I mean, you can feel wetness, but it's definitely not, it's not dry and it's not dripping, which is where they want you to do to be out with the straightener. So now I'm going to go in with the red condomin oil and it has a little button that you push to get product in the tube. My hair is very dry so I'm going to use this whole vial which is about I'd say a third of the way full. Press it down into my palm. Rub it to get that heat from your hands to emolliate the product and then I'm just going to go in with my fingers from root to end and just kind of get it all over. And my hair is, it's, my hair is very difficult to manage. If you've seen my other videos, <laughs> you can probably tell that doing hair is not 
the top thing on my agenda because it, I mean, I guess if I had easier to style hair it would be, but I don't. My hair, it's ever since I've been little, it's been an issue because it's naturally curly. Like, these are the cute little curls that come out in the back. But in the front, it's like straight and then weird and frizzy. And Actually, it's not too frizzy because, number one, I don't blow dry my hair. Number two, I use a Keratin Complex shampoo and conditioner, which has actually taken a lot of the frizz out of my hair. And I do get keratin treatments. I haven't had one in a while. The last one I had is probably already worn off of my hair. But um, keratin treatments are worth money. They really are. Especially um, if you do color treat your hair a lot or if you do process your hair with a lot of heating tools, I would definitely recommend getting a keratin treatment. After you get that first one, if it's done right, you'll go back for more because they just make hair maintenance so much easier than, you know, just tools and products. So next, actually, I don't know why I put my hair up. Next, I'm going to go in with the Chi Argon Oil. Now, my hairstylist told me that not all argon oils are created equally. Because I thought, hey, argon oil is argon oil. That's not the case. And I have learned with this one that it's not the case. Um, this one, I can tell an immediate difference. I actually put this on my hair at night before I go to bed just to kind of let it soak in. Because my hair is so dry. Like, don't light a fire close to my hair because... It might just combust. It's terrible. And I put so many products in it, but it really soaks it up, so it needs a lot. So if your hair is not as oily as mine, obviously, I mean, not as dry as mine, obviously you don't want to go in with all these oils and, um, you know, get your hair looking greasy, because that's not cute either. But if your hair is oily, I mean, it's dry, goodness, um... I would definitely recommend the diamond oil and the argon oil used together. So first I'm going to comb out a small section in the back of my hair, comb as much curl out as I possibly can. Scoot up a little bit. And then, actually first I'm going to turn my straightener on. So this steam infusion straightener has a power button. A less heat and more heat button on the side and the nice thing about this is once you put it on the temperature that you want which today since my hair is coarse and curly I'm gonna put it on 410 degrees um, once you put it on the temperature it locks into place so if your hands accidentally or your fingers accidentally bump into one of the buttons it's not gonna move which I've had that trouble with a lot of straighteners I'll go in straightening at 400 degrees Next thing I know, I smell my hair burning, and I'm like, what in the world? And then I'll look down, and it'll be on 450 degrees. And no, I don't, I don't like that in straightener. So this, that's a really good implementation that they put in the straightener. And so also, like I said, this is a reservoir that the water is, hold, is held in. And you want to hold your straightener down for about... 10 seconds, no, 30 seconds until you see the steam coming through the little steam holes and that lets you know that it is ready to be used. So that's what we'll do right now. And also, another tip for my hairdresser, I was like, why is it that every time I use my straightener, I smell my hair burning or like a burnt smell and she gave me great advice she was like either you're using your styling tool on too high of a setting or you do not have enough heat protection heat protector product in your hair and ever since she told me that I have not had an issue with my straightener making my hair smell burnt so that was a really good tip and I just I felt like I would share it with you guys today so I can hear I don't know if you guys can hear but I can hear the steam starting to come through the cord and as you can see 
it's really starting to flow through so it's nice and ready to use these lines on the straightener also tell you which way to go so you don't ever want to use the straightener this way or this way because you don't go up to straighten your hair you always want to have it go with the arrows pointing down so I will demonstrate on this piece of hair and another nice thing about this is it glides through your hair it doesn't get caught up and pull parts of your hair out like other straighteners that I've had so look one run through feels nice I usually do two because my roots are so curly and it feels really soft really silky let me do the middle part let's see if I can get a better angle and then I like to feel to see if I feel any humps or waves that might have stuck around I usually never have to go over the same piece of hair more than twice and that's also good because with my other straighteners I was noticing that I was having to go over so many times and I knew in my head like this is damaging my hair I know it is but we want that bone straight look so we do what we gotta do so this so far this is the back Hopefully my parts even. It's probably not. But as you can see, it's a dramatic difference from what it was to what it is now. And I'm going to go in section by section, making them as small as I can. Like I said, I'm not a hair doer, so sometimes I forget to... I don't forget, <laughs> let's be honest. I just don't want to sit here forever because I have a lot of hair. It may not look like it because my hair is short, but my hair, it, 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 there, there's a lot of it. So next, I'm going in. Once again, if you can see how the arrows are pointed down, I'm going and just letting it glide across my hair until it gets to the very end. And that piece feels really nice on the first run through. So. I will not be running it through again. Second piece. The only downfall about this straightener, I would say, is the fact that it does not have right here, like this is where you would need to get to your roots, so you kind of have to really wedge it in there to get your roots but I mean you, you can get them it is possible let me scoot back so we're not all in each other's faces or y'all aren't in my face because I feel like my last few videos I've been like hey guys <laughs> I'm new still to the I would keep saying that like it's an excuse I should know because I've watched plenty of videos but I haven't got a tripod yet. I was actually just downstairs looking at some. But I don't know if I should get the small one that will fit on my desk or the tall one that stands up off the floor. So we will cross that bridge here in a couple of hours because I know that is something that I need in my life if I'm going to do this. And this part, this part of my hair right here, like my, cr no, it's not your crown, your, my edges, I guess, oh my gosh, they are so curly, and they look nappy, and so I've got to pay special attention to those, and for some reason, I always, like, pull this part of my hair out while I'm straightening to... Because it bothers me, and then I'll just continue on to the back of my hair like normal. But um, let me get that piece again because, like I said, the roots are kind of tricky. But this straightener literally does no damage to your hair. I'm not sure. I'm pretty. I know it has to do with the steam coming out, 
and literally everyone that asks me what kind of straightener I use have no idea what a steam infusion by red by Redken is. And I have um I've seen them for sale online, but there's two different ones. There's a professional one where the reservoir is like this big and um you know you just go in and get your get a steam infusion straightener straightening treatment at the salon um, and they use those and then there are the ones that they sell and I think in order well for me at least I would think the best place to purchase one would be for um, a local or if you have a local hopefully you have a local red red can salon that would be the best place to purchase it because I did see a review on um, Amazon talking about they were sent something that was a generic of this Redken Steam Infusion and they weren't very happy. That was the only negative review that I've seen, period. So that should tell you something because, you know, people are going to have their own opinions. And so that wasn't even downing the product. They said they didn't get sent the actual product. So, I mean, I highly recommend this straightener for, you know, people that are just starting to straighten their hair. Definitely biracial children who have those kinky tight curls. I used to have those. I am a biracial child. And this straightener will not do any damage versus um, what my mom decided to do. She decided to take us to a salon and let them put chemical perms or straighteners on our hair. And that literally ruined our hair for many, many years afterward because we would start getting our curly roots in with straight ends. And so what would we do? My mom started buying the Just For Me hair straighteners, uh, chemical hair straighteners. And those were so harsh on our hair. And um, our hair... Me and my sister's hair, I, we all have different textures of hair. My middle sister probably has the best hair of all of us because hers is just super thick and it grows at the speed of light. And then I would say I have the second best hair. And then my other sister, my oldest sister, um, her hair texture is really coarse, but... She went through a phase where she was getting sewn in extensions and um, it completely jacked her hair up and I have been there. I had one of my friend's moms do my extensions for high school um, prom and I loved them so much but I was so cheap that I didn't want to take them out. But I didn't want to, I mean, I didn't want to take them out permanently because they were starting to slip off the hair. But I didn't want to pay to have them redone. So I went to the beauty supply store, got my own black hair glue with the red lid, and I jacked my hair up. And one day, like, I literally had no hair left to put the extension on. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go through an ugly duckling phase, but I'm taking these extensions out, I'm letting my real hair grow, and I did, and I looked terrible for a long, well, I, my hair looked terrible for a long time, but um, I wore a lot of the, the weave ponytails and stuff, which I don't even know how I got my hair to get in a ponytail, to put the pon weave ponytail on top. It probably looked a hot mess. Thankfully, there are no pictures to corroborate that story. And it was a long time ago. But even my hairdresser told me that my hair is just not strong enough for extensions because of how much I do dye it. And um, how damaged it was due to me dyeing it, due to me over straightening it, curling it, crimping it, waving it, all those things that you do to your hair.
And another thing about this straightener is it makes your Also today But it makes your hair feel so lightweight, which is my favorite thing. Like coming out of a salon and the wind's blowing and my hair's just like psh. Love it. Alright, we're getting somewhere, y'all. If you're getting bored of me and my rambling, you can always fast forward to the end of the video to see the final results. But I figured since I'm new, I'll kind of talk to y'all a little bit while I do this. But I am a rambler. I can talk forever. To myself even, obviously. But if anyone is wondering what I'm going to get done to my hair this Saturday, I'm just going to have her. Because I have my, my roots probably about an inch and a half of my roots. Well, from the, where my roots started to where they ended, I had her go in and dye them purple and then just do the rest of my hair red. And before that, my, my hair was red, like fire engine red. And I'm just going to get her to take the purple out and put the get my whole hair back to the regular red. Hopefully, it's not going to be stressful on my hair. Hopefully I won't be in the salon for um, 8.30 to 5 like I usually am. Because not only is my hair difficult for me to do, my hair is difficult when it comes to processing color. Um, for whatever reason that is, I don't know if it's because my hair is naturally dark, almost black. It's like a soft black. It's not jet black, but... Um, I think it's probably a mixture of that and the fact that I have so many colors on top of each other stacked. And that's what makes it take a little bit longer. Plus, I'm always getting something crazy. Like, the time before, the last time I was in there, I made the stupidest choice. Which, I mean, unless you dye your hair black and you keep your hair black, it is not wise to buy a boxed black hair dye and plan on getting it changed to something lighter because it will do some things to your hair that you had wished that it did not. For me, this is what I did. I went to Target, bought a boxed... Uh, jet black hair dye or two I can't remember went home dyed my red hair jet black uh, washed the dye out my hair was like 50 shades of jacked up it wasn't red it wasn't black it was orange brown Blonde. It was you. It was an awful mess, and I knew, I knew I should not have done that, but I did it anyways. And then I went to the salon to have her. No, no, no. Then I went to Sally's and got the red that I had been using to dye my hair with, which worked pretty good. And I was like, I want this black off of my hair, so I'm gonna get this red L'Oreal. It's called L'Oreal Red for dark hair. I actually got that color from watching a tutorial with Nicole Guerrero on how to dye your hair Rihanna Red. Then I um, so I went there, got that dye, put it on my hair and my hair was like this was one color, this was one color, this was one color. And that was just in the front. I wasn't trying to see what the back looked like I, I was scared because my hair is important to me like it really is I really like for it to be done even though it hardly ever is I like for it to be done and if it's not done I at least want the color on it to be cute you know and nothing about my hair was cute at all it was fried dyed and laid to the side <laughs> so um anyways after 
after that happened, I called my the girl that does my hair, my my hairdresser. Shout out to Cassie at Hair Dimensions. And um, anyways, I told her, and then I came in to see her, and she was like. Um, you have this ring, like she she hooked me up. It looked really good. You couldn't see the different colors where they started or ended, but I did have like a very slight ring around my hair where I guess my roots had started growing out and or something. I'm not sure, but she fixed it. And then of course the last time when I got this dye job done, it looked banging. But the purple on the roots have faded out to, in certain places, to like this blonde. And it's so weird because as soon as my, my dye job starts fading out, that's when I get the most compliments. And I'm like, it's faded. Why are you complimenting me now? But that's how it's always seemed to work. So, back to the straightener. I'm getting it done a lot faster than I thought I would, maybe because I am using huge sections. My camera died on me again, but this is the final product. It is smooth, it is silky, it is straight, and it is worth the money. Because just think about how many cheap straighteners you buy that don't last. I've had this one for about two years it lasts if I pull it out more then um, you know my hair would be in so much better condition than it is but this is what I tend to grab it's a Remington $17 something because it's small and I'm like I'm lazy so I'm gonna just get the little one that has no uh, tank but it's really not a hassle to load the tank up with water let it sit hold the this down like this it's not so hopefully you guys can decide on if you need this in your life I know I would recommend it to anyone with um, damaged hair extremely curly hair color treated hair you know I would recommend it to all those people so I'm not gonna make this exit awkward I'll just say bye guys and I'll see you next time